Okay, before you launch, it's a good time to check that everything's ready. You'll find there's a handy checklist of what you need to do just inside the console of the boat. But the first thing is to check that you've got fuel. Here's a fuel container down here. And just check that the little air release is open as well. Next thing to check, very important if you want to avoid that sinking feeling, is that the bung is in place. It goes straight in, but then be sure that it locks across as well. Also check that there's a spare air horn down there. Moving on to the engine, there's a little T-switch down at the bottom here. If it's in the up position, the engine can come up. If it's in the down position, the engine goes down. So if I press it down, what I can then do is just lift the engine slightly towards me and it will lower all the way down into the position it could be in to drive. Obviously for launching, we need that engine up. So we come back to the little T-switch and put it into the up position. Reach over the top and you'll hear the ratchet as the engine goes up. We go one, two, three times going up. Okay, when you're on the water, first job is to make sure you've got your kill cord on. It just clips around your leg and it will cut the engine out if you were to fall out or fall over. Check the handles in the upright position and that's neutral. And then with your key, you're going to give an eighth turn to the right and you'll hear a loud beep like this. When that stops, you can give it a further turn and the engine will start. If you look over your right shoulder, you should be able to see water coming out of the engine and that lets you know that the cooling system is working fine. It's good to check that the kill cord works. I'm just going to pull it out and you see that the engine stops straight away. So, an eight turn, engine on, and then there's a little red switch underneath the throttle handle. You pull that up and then gently apply pressure and the boat will start moving forwards. A nice steady pressure and keep this hand on the throttle. Slow down, pull back, and you hear a nice click as it goes into neutral. And to reverse the engine, again you depress the red key and gently pull backwards, and the boat will start reversing. If someone does get to trouble, they can usually sort it out for themselves. But if you can go along, just check that they're okay. You can ask if they need any assistance, to which they'll probably say no. I say no for now. <laughs> and then if you can just stand by and make sure everybody's alright. If there was ever a situation where you, you really weren't happy, you can use the air horn, which we mentioned earlier, it's just down by the side of you. And if you blow that, the experienced racers will stop and come to assist you. Okay, if you want to go ashore, uh, maybe in between races, and you approach on this side, what we're doing is taking the engine up, 
and allowing the movement, the momentum of the boat to take us forward and we can land safely there. At the end of the race, if you attract to the attention of people on shore, if they're not already there waiting for you, they'll bring the trolley down to collect you. Uh, can you have a trolley please? Thank you guys. Okay, and then you're going to drive the boat onto the waiting trolley. Just imagine you driving up the, the slipway. Keep your speed down. Here we are. And then cut the engine. That's wonderful. Go on the trolley, bring the engine fully up. And then if you bring yourself to the front of the boat, we'll just bring you ashore a little bit. Uh, it's the slipway is always slippy. Yeah, very slippy. So just be careful. Okay. Take your time. No, don't, just pull on the rope or boat. I, want, I need to steer. You go to a boat now and pull on that. You know? Drop the engine down again, push the boats inside. And then we just lock up. And if you can don't forget to return regularly to the opening, I'll then put it back on the page. And thank you very much for doing your duty.